time of it. We've seen Buckingham Palace, Westminster Abbey, and of course the Tower of London, where King Henry VIII executed a lot of his enemies and beheaded several of his wives. Beheaded? You mean he chopped her head off? Why ain't no way to treat a woman now back in Blunt County, Alabama, United States of America. God love her. <laughs> Now there, my friend, we know how to treat our women, folk. Why, when me and the missus get back from the chicken processing plant in the afternoon, she comes in and she cuts the wood, she cooks the supper, she washes the dishes, does the clothes, cleans the house, and comes over there and sits next to me in my easy boy chair and says, I look at her and I say, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> yes, well, well, let me tell you about the Great Fire of London. Now here is some hot news. Hot news! <laughs> <clears throat> yes, well, you see, the Great Fire of London swept through here in 1666. It started on Sunday, the 2nd of September, and burned for four days. 70,000 of London's 80,000 inhabitants were left homeless. It burned most of the government buildings and 87 churches. 87 churches. It burnt down 87 churches. Why, holy smoke! <laughs> <laughs> but here in London, another fire began that's still burning. No lives lost and no way of telling how many souls saved. This is where the great revival began with John Wesley. Who is John Wesley? Who is John Wesley? I ain't got a clue. Who's John Wesley? He one of them hippie beetle fellers or something? Who is John Wesley? Good grief, man. That's like asking... Who is St. Paul or who is Billy Graham? Well, you, you don't know about John Wesley? I ain't got a clue. <laughs> is he one of them Pope-like fellers you saw something other? You see, you see, me and the missus, we don't get out much. <laughs> and, and we won this here trip to England on one of them mail-in things. And I told her, I said, honey bun, gather up all them grand youngins. We get ready to go over there to England because we could all use just a little bit of culture. Amen. <laughs> well, let's see. We have about 45 minutes before the tour bus returns. Let me tell you about John Wesley, or as I call him, St. John Wesley, and about what happened right here at this site, the site of Aldersgate Chapel. Yeah, John Wesley. There was a chap who really gave God a hand. Now, right there, we can help you out. One of the young'uns here, now there she is, she got the boom box right. Let me tell you, we got a song by this young man down at the church way from our house there. He was killed by this low-down rotten feller in there robbing a drink machine. And we can help you out on giving God a hand right there. All right, Bernice, you ready? Hit that boom box. Y'all got to help me out now, okay? Here we go, here we go. Let's all stand up and give God a hand. Well, now, when you go out to a football game, when somebody scores, you yell his name, and the entire crowd, they all stand up and cheer. Get up! 
Well, this is the game of life, my friends. It's been hard thought, and it's near the end. The score is like God, seven million, Satan. Uh-uh. All right. Give God a hand for all he's done. He's given his life and his only son. Let's all stand up. Give God a hand. Give God a hand for the victory and all he's done for you and me. Let's all stand up. Give God a hand. Let's all stand up. Give God a hand. Well, now we see the actors on the stage. We hear the truth in the words they say. When the curtain falls, we call the author's name. Well, we've watched the play of life unfold and found it's just like the Bible told, except we're going to praise the author before the end. Give God a hand for all he's done. He's given his life and his only son. Let's all stand up. Give God a hand. Give God a hand for the victory and all he's done for you and me. Let's all stand up. Give God a hand. Let's all stand up. Give God a hand. Well, I'm hustling all over the place these days, and folks, you just might be amazed to find some people can't sing and clap their hands. Yeah, some people think the house of God's the place to snooze, snore, and nod, but we're going to wake them up before we get out of here. Give God a hand for all he's done. He's given his life and his only son left. All stand up, give God a hand. Give God a hand for the victory and all he's done for you and me. Let's all stand up, give God a hand. P.J., give God a hand for all he's done. He's given his life and his only son. Let's all stand up, give God a hand. Give God a hand for the victory and all he's done for you and me. Let's all stand up, give God a hand. Let's 